Hello, I'm here out at my two backyard beehives. Um, I just got a couple of packages of bees yesterday. Didn't have a chance to get them in the hive before bed and before dark last night. So I'm out here today to get them in the hive. And uh, just gonna show you what I've got going, what I'm gonna do. These two hives that I had uh, died over the winter. We had some bitter cold down to 30 below a couple different times and uh, both of my hives did not make it. Um, but uh, I've got a couple packages to replace them now and I'll switch this camera around so you can see what I'm doing. All right, hopefully I've got this camera angled properly so that you can see what I'm seeing. Um, but I've got two hives here, um, two packages of bees, I have 10 frames that I've put in the hives that were uh, saved from last year. They had still some honey left in there, so we can reuse them again this year. Now what we've got here, I'll start with this one first. We've got this package. This can is a feeder with sugar syrup in it so that they were have something to eat while they were being transported here from California. Now, let me see if I can get this out. Come on. There we go. There's the feeder can with the... Ooh, it's about empty. I'm glad we're getting these guys in the hive. Okay. Now, right here, we've got the queen. So, she is in there. I don't know if can you see that. She is marked with a pink dot on her back um, so that she can be found more easily as we're going through the hives. I'm going to uh, get her in here and then I'm going to, oh, I've got bees on my face. Get her in here and I'm going to get the bees in there and then I will put in some more frames. I'm gonna leave her in the hive, or in the cage for now because this queen does not belong to these bees. They were taken from another hive and then put together in this package with that queen and it takes a few days for that queen to become recognized by the rest of the bees as their queen. So I'm going to leave her in that cage for a few days uh, so while they continue to get used to her. And then I'll come out, I'll release and release her out of the cage and then she can get busy laying eggs and, and raising bees. So these wooden packages are not my favorite. I'd rather have the plastic packages. Um, they have tabs that you can just pop off the end and dump the bees out. So these are a little less convenient. But uh, we'll just get these bees out here. Now these bees are very docile. I'm not afraid of them stinging me right now because they don't have a home to defend. So, but once we get them in the, in the uh, hive and this becomes their home, then they will be a little more protective. Just dump all those bees in there. We're never gonna get them all out of the hive, out of the box. We'll get what we can out. And the rest of these will find their way into the hive on their own. Um, I'm gonna create a little opening here. I'll explain this entrance reducer a little later on. Okay. Just put, set them down in there gently. Get one more in there.
Okay, I'm going to get, cover her up. I'm gonna get the other package going and then I'll get the feeders on and show you what I do with those. We'll get this queen out of here. And uh, set her down right in there next to those frames. We'll cut this package open and get those bees in there with their queen. Okay, then we'll let so this one down in front so they can find their way in. Okay, get these in. There we go. Our pollen patties. There's no pollen sources right now. We're in April. Uh, the dandelions have not started blooming yet. So there's no pollen source. If the they're gonna lay eggs and she's and the queen's going to raise brood. They're going to need some pollen. So I've got these pollen patties that I can put on. The uh, paper's very stuck. And it's not gonna come off. I'm just going to put this on like this. The bees will take the pollen patty from around the paper and leave the paper out and I'll clean the paper up later on after they've taken the pollen. I get another pollen patty here for this hive. We'll put it right here. The bees will find their way to it. The next thing they're gonna need is something, some sugar syrup to eat. Uh, because there is no nectar source, they do have some honey in those frames, but they're gonna need more than that to get going. So these are feeders. Just push that down on there, get it seated. Oh, that one stung me. I must have squished I've got this put on backwards. Switch that around. Okay. Now the way these work is the bees are able to climb up into this and down the other side. I'm going to put sugar syrup down in these feeders and they'll be able to take the sugar syrup and store it down in the honey. So here's some sugar syrup that I had made up beforehand. It is not enough. I will have to make up some more and get some more out here for them. 
get some for this hive. We'll get some for this hive. And we'll put the covers on and let the bees get going doing their thing. Now, I've got these entrance reducers, these boards that I just put on in front of the hives. They are not a strong hive yet. We don't want any other bees from any other hives to come along and rob them. With a large entrance, it'll be difficult for them to defend their hives. So we just put those on there so they have a small entrance that they might ever have to defend if they if they get some other bees from, from some other hives that want to steal their honey. As their population grows, I'll remove those boards and they'll have the full entrance. And that's it. Now in a, in a couple days, I'll come out and I will uh, release the queens out of their cages and they will start laying eggs and raising new bees and we'll get large populations in these hives that will produce, hopefully, lots of honey.